Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To all my brothers and sisters all around the Muslim world I love all of you for the sake of Allah Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah I begin in the name of Allah and thanking Allah and asking Allah to send salat and salam upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam This is another reminder and it is first to myself Wallahi, anything I say is first to myself Allah knows that the more I grow in the deen and the more I walk further in the deen, the more I need my own advice. So anything I say is first to myself, I promise you. And this reminder today is going to be uh, very particular. It's not something you would really expect to be reminded about. But to keep it general and uh, to keep it as easy as possible to, under to, to understand, it'll be about the treatment of people. And uh, the position and rank we allow people to hold in our lives. If we read the Quran, you know, if we read the Quran, and uh, Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah because what I'm about to talk about, I don't even have to point to a specific verse in the Quran. And I don't even have to point to a specific chapter in the Quran. Usually if someone speaks about the Quran, they go to a specific chapter, such as, you know, Surah uh, Ahzab, uh, Surah, you know, uh, Doha, or Surah Ashar, or, you know, things of this nature. Chapter, you know, 33, chapter 12, verse this, verse that. I don't even have to do that with what I'm about to speak about, because anyone who has a relationship with the Quran, this is going to be a clear understanding. If you read the Quran, you notice the people whom Allah, Azza wa Jal, the people who Allah speaks about as far as in terms of honor. The people who Allah hastens to as far as to accept their supplications. The people who Allah loves and is with and aids and assists. The people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just with and, and he, 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 he does he does for these people. He helps these people. He answers these people. We know from the Quran that the people who Allah, uh, you know, honor and cater to in the regard that I'm speaking of are people who are righteous, right? Allah teaches us in the Quran that what? He loves the good doers. He loves those who are patient. He is with those who are patient. He answers the, the supplication of, of the righteous, such as in Surah Maryam Zakariyah, alayhi salam, when he supplicated, Allah answered him because he is righteous. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, we know from his life, Allah answered him because he is righteous. Uh, the companions, uh, other stories in the Quran, Prophet Nuh, Nuh alayhi salam, Allah answered him because he was righteous. And the point I'm making the people who have a, a status of honor and a high rank in the sight of Allah and who Allah aids and the people he helps and assists and he answers their prayers are those who are righteous, those who strive and do good deeds, those who help others. You can come to them and they will help you. They don't backbite. They don't lie. They don't cheat. They don't steal. They're not unreliable. Right? They're trustworthy. All of these beautiful virtues, basically. These are the people who will be close to Allah in Jannah. And these are the people who Allah loves. We never find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, with and is aiding and assisting people who, you know, are worthless. Basically, they don't, they don't do anything. They're not worth anything. They don't contribute any goodness to the cause of Allah or to other human beings. They eat, they sleep, and they look to benefit from others. And on top of that, they cause corruption and fitna and trial and, 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 and all kinds of uh, problems in the community, in their homes. But if you notice, these are the people we cater to. The problem we have in today's time, we give the wrong people the right respect. And we give the right people the wrong respect. The brothers and the sisters who actually strive in the way of Allah. Who you come to them for help and they, they never tell anyone no. 
They love Allah and the Prophet وسلم, They don't just say this like most Muslims do But they have the deeds to come behind it For example, let me give you an example Because you have a lot of Muslims who are going to say they love Allah and the Prophet More than anyone and anything But it's not that that makes it true It's the actions A person who says I love Allah and the Prophet more than anyone and anything And then you come to them homeless And they make room for you in their home And they give you food even though they don't really have it like that. These are the people who really love Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If they do that and they don't remind you of it later. Because some people will do that, but then they remind you of it. I did this, I did that. You remember when I did this? No, these righteous people, they don't remind you of it because they did it for the sake of Allah. And they know that any goodness is, is from Allah. But in today's time, we give people who are worthless. They don't contribute any goodness. They're not reliable. You can't get them to do anything, really, in the cause of Allah. You can't ask them to help them. You can't give them tasks and assignments and anything. They tell you they 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 speak good. They speak good and they say good things. But when it comes down to it, there's no deeds. There's no accomplishments. They eat, they sleep, and they benefit from others, and that's their life. But these are the people who we give our respect to. These are the people who we cater to, who we run to. You know, they have a nice smile, a big, big, beautiful smile, right? They graduated, you know, some college. They have a high rank in society. They're very charismatic and, you know, bursting with, uh, they're very prolific. How many homeless people have they, have they fed? How many orphans have they looked after? Do they pray Salah on time every day? Do they study the religion of Islam? What do they do? Do they help the Muslims? No, they don't do any of these things. But guess what they leave out of the door with? When they leave it out of the door, they leave out of the door with our respect and our money and our time and our good opinion. But those who are actually good doers, who Allah loves, actually good doers, doing deeds totally for the sake of Allah and not to be praised of men. These are the people who can't get a dime from us. These are the people who we don't even notice them. This is wrong and un-Islamic. The people who we praise and who we cater to first and who we give our loyalty to and our help to, the first people who are in line for that are people who love Allah and His Prophet and they constantly do righteous good deeds. They believe in Allah. They follow the Quran and the Sunnah, no innovation, no bid'ah. They don't bring new things into the religion and they are firm upon the proof of Islam. And they do righteous good deeds behind this. These are the people who we who deserve us first. But these are the people who are not getting it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. You have some sheikh or some imam or some Guy, I don't know who this guy be, uh, you know, beard, he, they say he graduated from some university and, you know, he, he looks very nice and he has a big smile, you know, he captures your attention. And these kind of people, we're all in their face. Wow, mashallah, you know, we, we're just so mesmerized by these people. But what have they done? What have they done for the Muslim community? What have they done for the Muslims who are dying every day? Nothing. When they come to your home and, and, and snatch your child up and take him to Guantanamo Bay because he says something uh, stupid about jihad on the internet, can you go to these same people with these big smiles and long beards who graduated these universities? Can you go to them and get help? No, you can't. Most of the time, they will not help you. But the people who don't deserve it, these are the ones we give our respect, our loyalty, and everything we have to. This is un-Islamic. They need to have be firm upon the proof. They need to have the righteous deeds behind it. These are the people who Allah is behind. These are the people who his prophet Muhammad would be behind. These are the people we need to be behind. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and give us understanding. Any questions, any help I can be of, inshallah, hit me on the YouTube. Uh, that's what's usually up mostly nowadays. Uh, I love all of you for the sake of Allah. Wassalamu alaikum.